playing games on the LG V60 with desktop mode uh, running Android 11 uh, with some new enhanced features on Android desktop mode. Now about seven months ago, I made a video with the LG V60 in desktop mode and I was very critical about it saying it was, it was terrible. Uh, but now with Android 11, Android desktop mode has been 100% uh, better. What's up everybody, this is like the Tech Preacher. I'm using a wireless controller and a monitor connected it to my LG V60 uh, via uh, USB type C to USB type C, which is powering the monitor. And I'm using Android desktop mode to do all this. And uh, Android desktop has been improved a whole lot. So I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts and show you guys some things with Android desktop mode with, uh, with the LG V60 uh, and Android 11. So sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I have the LG V60 running LG's desktop mode on Android 11. Now I made a video about seven months ago uh, and the LG desktop experience was really bad. I criticized the software from the beginning to the end of that video, but now running on Android 11, things is 100% better. So the first feature that LG brought to the table with Android 11 in desktop mode, and this is the ultimate feature right here that I like, this is, makes it almost half the battle is now you can use the LG V60 independently uh, because before with Android 10, you have to have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse in order to interact with the LG desktop. Now, let me show you guys exactly what I mean. I got the LG Vel I got the LG Velvet here, right? And so when I plug up the LG Velvet, uh, and I wanna show you guys Android 10 desktop mode, all right, so Android 10 desktop mode, as you can see right here, but with Android 11, when you do your drop down shade, as you can see right here, it says desktop mode, right? When I click on it, it's just basically gonna mirror my screen. And if I click back on it, it's gonna give me the LG's desktop mode. Now at this point, I cannot interact with the device and I have to have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse in order to get work done. So at this point, I'm stuck. I have to have an external Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to make this happen. Well, with Android 11, with the uh, LG's desktop mode, uh, LG's bought the software pretty much mimicking uh, the Galaxy S the devices, the Galaxy Note devices and uh, Galaxy uh, Samsung DeX. All right, so right here, now you have uh, use phone as a touchpad. So right now I can use the device independently. I do not have to have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. So that makes it a hundred percent better experience. So what if I don't have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and I want to use the, the device? And as you can see, now I can use the device independently. What I mean by independently, let me open up something and I will show you guys the type of experience. So let's go to open up one though, double tap. Here we go, let's go to make it big. Now, one of the things that I found that uh, some apps you can and make it big and some apps you can't. You can use full screen and on some apps and some apps you can't. So that's something that you have to uh, consider. All right, so let's go to and make this full screen. I wanna show you guys this. All right, so I actually been kind of playing around with it. And now, once you click on it to type, uh, now the keyboard comes up. Again, you can use the LG V60 independently. You do not have to have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, which is great. So now I can have a type of experience. And let me open up another app here, okay? So let's open up hit this app right here. And so this is one of the things that I, I wanna mention is that some apps, you, some apps you can make it full screen, some apps you can't. This app, you cannot make it full screen. And so it's inconsistency, but it's still better. The reason why I'm playing this game is because I want to show you that some of the software is just not there yet. We, it still has some issues. Uh, one of the issues that, you know, when you're playing games, if it doesn't, uh, all games uh, that does not have the controller support, you will run into this. 
Okay, so as, as I play this game, I cannot do no interaction here with this game. Okay, nothing. Okay, so right now the game is just running by itself and I, I can't interact with it at all. So, it, but the the, uh, the 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 controller doesn't work for this game. So it's some games that does not work. And the reason why I'm, I'm showing you Mario Run is because I want to plug up the Samsung device and I want to show you the same game that you can interact with it. So let me go ahead on the plug up the Galaxy S21 uh, Ultra, right? And I want to show you the same game uh, that you can play with it, right? Using the touchpad. All right, so here, Samsung Dex. And yes, now I can I can play the game. I can tap on the screen to make the man jump. So yes, now I can't interact with the game and uh, use the Samsung Dex. And uh, let's see if I can make this big. There it is, and to go restart, no problem. So, but I wanna make this big. So one of the differences between the LG's desktop and Samsung DeX is that Samsung DeX is way polished than uh, the LG's desktop. But again, seven months ago when I made the video about the LG desktop, it was almost unusable, but at least this time is usable. But uh, I just wanna let y'all guys see that on Samsung DeX, almost 99% of every app can be full screen in large, uh, and you can use the keyboard and mouse with almost every app uh, that, that you can put on the device. So I hope LG would fix some of these issues with desktop mode on the LG V60 running Android 11. Let's go through all apps and look at the layout here. It's nice, man. You could use two fingers to scroll up and down. And I mean, it's working. No lag. Uh, the performance is really good. The only thing they just need to fix is a few things. Uh, maybe tap to enlarge, right? Make it full screen. Uh, fix some of the software issues. What you know, make it universal. One tap, one uh, hard tap to open or close apps instead of a double tap or maybe a two finger tap. Uh, they need to fix that. Uh, other than that, the interface looks really good. I mean, look like they're going so well with this. I like this. Now they can make the mouse cursor just a little little bigger, right? Uh, as far as lagginess with the mouse curse, I don't have no issues with that. So, you know, at the end of the day, we can type. Uh, the interface is a whole lot better. Now you can use the LG V60 independently. That is a huge thing. So if I want to type and let me go back in, I want to show you guys something. Let's go ahead and open up uh, OneNote again. If I need to uh, move my mind up a little bit and move the device up a little bit, and now if I want to uh, start typing away. Let's get over here. Start up. Uh, this is a test. Boom. So this is wonderful. So now I have a nice keyboard here independently, instead of using a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, I can type up documents. Uh, and I have my, my mouse right here. Uh, and I got my keyboard. You could do it in, in, in landscape. So you have a bigger canvas to type. Uh, so this is nice. This is nice. I like this. Okay. So I'm impressed so far, uh, what LG is doing. All right. <laughs> so overall the LG desktop mode is hundred percent better than it was before. It's not up there with Dex yet. Still got a long way to go. Samsung Dex is a more polished OS, but LG is catching up. They're kind of closing the gap. And I like the direction and I like what the LG V60 is doing right now on uh, the LG desktop. Now you can use the LG V60 independently. And as you can see, I'm running the monitor off the power of the LG V60. Now, as far as performance, you won't have no issues with performance uh, running uh, LG desktop mode. I didn't see any lag, any hiccup, and any stuttering as I was playing high in games like uh, Dead Trigger 2. But you won't see no lag in this using desktop mode on the LG V60. Ah, <sighs> so we got some enhancements. We got some features. This alone, uh, what the LG V60 as a standalone device brings in a totally different dynamic. Are we there yet? No. Are we close? Yes. Hopefully uh, LG will bring some more enhancements and some more bug fixes to the LG V60 or uh, to the other devices to make this happen. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the LG desktop mode in all its glory. 
See you guys on the next video. Peace.